Sanichi crazy. <laughs> How far would you go to buy a watermelon? <laughs> we just traveled 5,500 miles for a watermelon. Not just any watermelon, but a square watermelon. Our friend from Only in Japan, his name is John, he sent me an email and said, hey, the square watermelons that only come once a year are back in Tokyo. If you want to come, we can get you one. And he told us to come to this random fruit station in this city of Japan. There's like Godzilla behind us. The city's amazing, but we're only here for 24 hours just to get a watermelon. All right, we found the place. This is it. Here's our buddy John from Only in Japan. Hey guys. This is the place where we find the square watermelons, right? Yes. Lincoln, do you see it? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> there it is. It looks normal, like you're looking around like it's a normal fruit shop, and then all of a sudden you see a watermelon that's square. Does it make sense that we came all the way from the United States to see this thing? Of course! <laughs> of course it is! Because you can't just buy these anywhere. Like, you can't just get them in the United States, right? No, there's actually only 200 of them made every year, and because we had a really hot uh, spring, a lot of them didn't make it. So, literally, these are extremely rare to find, and if you find a store that wants to actually sell it, that's a big deal because most stores just use it for display because it brings people in like, whoa, a square watermelon. It says that it's 20,000 yen, which is $200. What? Around $200? Around $200. So there it is. That's the one. I think that's the one we want. Not these round ones. Who wants round Not ones? these baby oval ones. Yeah, no one wants oval. Thank you. 20,000. Thank you. Feel the corners. It feels like it's just been crushed into yeah. its shape. They smashed it and somehow it didn't pop. He's saying, that, he's saying that it's strange and it's not delicious and he's kind of wondering why did you buy this? <laughs> People just look at it, they don't eat it. So most people that buy these things, it is ornamental. People put them out as a display in shops and in their homes, giving them as a gift. I just told them that you came f over 5,000 miles to just eat this. Sanichi <laughs> crazy. That's for you, Lincoln. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. We have our watermelon. We need to break it open. I like the idea of just throwing it on the ground, but it'd probably be better if we took a knife and we somehow like cut it open. Real life fruit ninja here, except with a square watermelon, which nobody's ever done before. That sounds dangerous and fun. It's time. Four cornered watermelon. If I spoke Japanese, that's what I would say right now. This is the square watermelon. It had a really nice sleep in our hotel last night. And our hotel's right there. John showed up this morning and he brought us gifts. Yes. He brought Lincoln this <laughs> right here, which is nice. And then, what else do we got here? This happens to be a Seki Japan made knife. Check it out. Made in Japan. It, it almost looks like it has some weird markings on it. Like it almost looks like it's something rotted. Dropped, it looks like someone dropped orange juice on it and let it sit there. <laughs> yeah. It's but a little bit more complicated than that. It's a very nice knife. Oh, that's um, sharp. I got this in Seki, which is famous for making samurai swords. So it comes from the same pedigree as the samurai katana. <laughs> this is Japan! Okay, <laughs> break out that watermelon, boys. Let's get All it right, done. Let's do this. Oh, 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 be careful. It's not easy to do this. In fact, every year only 200 of them are actually harvested. They have lots more, but there's so many failures too. Yeah, so that's a really, really good point. John's video is super interesting and goes way in depth of where they actually make these. Make sure you go check that out after this video and you can learn even more. <laughs> that's right now. Do it right, Dan. Okay, I don't think that's uh, that straight, buddy. The square watermelon, the super sharp knife. Let's get into this. I'm gonna go right in this center here it's this knife is sharp or this watermelon it's not very ripe this knife is all that it's cracked up to be all that it's sliced up to be that is so sharp 
Oh, that is crazy sharp. Okay, I'm gonna set this knife down. There we are. Oh, it's yellow. There's your inside. I want to eat that. Why? It looks nasty. It's not nasty. Rotten. No. Smell, smell it. It smells good. It smells good. It smells like watermelon. Really? That's rare. Usually these things are uh, <laughs> not smelling. that tasty. <laughs> oh, this one's fresh. This is great. We got to eat some of this square watermelon. Now, those of you that play Minecraft, have you ever seen a watermelon in Minecraft? This well, is basically it. If you've you started farming, you have. Yeah, if you've started farming. Yeah. Of course. I farm all the time. But it's really hard to find Don't. watermelon seeds. It's hard to find watermelon seeds. Well, yes. it's hard to find a square watermelon. I don't want to ruin your knife, and I'm not good with knives. And so, can you chop this thing up a bit? In the spirit of Cobra Kai. Let us know in the comments, have you seen Cobra Kai, and does he not look like daniel Sun? Ralph Macchio, baby! Everybody always called me daniel Sun growing up. daniel Sun, daniel Sun. And then it kind of went away when nobody knew what Karate Kid was. But now it's back. It never went away with me, man! <laughs> I still don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you haven't seen it. No. Well, Three. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste good either. <laughs> Lincoln didn't think it tastes that bad. As he spits it out all over his arm. <laughs> doesn't taste that bad. It's bitter, right? It's kind of bitter and, and reminds me a little bit of cross between a, a watermelon and a cucumber. I'm going for the edges that are nice. I want that, right? This knife, what in the world? Check out this piece that I got. I cut that out, it is all red. Oh, one bite, whole thing, except for the greenness. Do it. The whole thing. Not bad, but it's not good. That's not bad at all. It's doable. Doable. Right. Yeah. I feel like I've tasted worse cantaloupe. Okay, it does have a bit of a bitter aftertaste, I will say that but it's not that bad. Maybe I'll try the yellow part. Yeah, that one has less taste. I would eat this not even on a deserted island. It's not bad, it's not good. It's kind <laughs> of in the middle. This bird's like- But it's square. The only square watermelons in the world, we came to Japan and saw this. I hope that you learned something today and you thought that it was entertaining and educational. And I don't think it was worth it for the taste, but I think it's worth it to see it. It was worth it to see it. I'm glad we came all the way to Japan for this. Yeah. We got a flight in a few hours, but before you click off of YouTube, go check out John's channel, make sure you subscribe to it, and go watch his video about the making of the square watermelons because it's pretty cool. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> and it's only in Japan. <laughs> that sounds dangerous and fun. If I spoke Japanese, that's what I would say right now. Danichi crazy. <laughs> <laughs>